Hey everybody, welcome back to Movie Games. And Nazario is not here. So I am running the fucking show today. But I can't run it without the champion. The man who cannot be beat. The ultimate snowflake. We got Cam. Hello. Uh, yeah, Nazario <laughs> couldn't be here today, so I'm doing it. Uh, came up with some uh, some games. I say games plural because... Uh, Nazario called this Champs Mix. I did not approve of the name, but he said that's what it was. I don't know how it's so that's what we're stuck with. Uh, I took two classic movie games, two of the original set of like five movie games that were played on this show, and I did each one with a little bit of a twist to it, uh, and we'll see how that twist affects the way things go, uh, because with some of the people in this community, they might not know who some of the people involved in this game are. It's and I want to see if one of these guys can eventually beat you. I think this man has a chance. The OG himself. We got Cody. Nope, tried that. Didn't win. <laughs> uh, tried to beat him. Couldn't beat him. It, it <laughs> happened. Um, I would just like somebody out there to kill me, please. That's all I'm asking for. That's fair. You know who might be it possible to kill you? I think you killed Could be somebody from another country. Could be an Australian. No. Yeah, yeah. He's not What's up, shot. man? Yeah, nothing much. I'm just chilling. Look who it is in the fucking chat. I, the man who can't yeah, show up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Of all yeah, the dope I don't know. Me and the original recipe Nazario. Thin is the <laughs> And then, you know, we got Spence. Was I, busy? I'm just curious. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so. so, Spence. Do you think you can beat these guys at this new game? I maybe, maybe. Well, I think we need to get some legal advice. So, mm. what's up, man? What's up? I'm just wondering when we're all going to do a sing along of Michael's name down there. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's a lot. Ultimate name right there. <laughs> and you take me yeah, yeah, and then good. we got the ultimate video story. That was good. We got Garth. Hey, How's it going, man? man? All right. I'm a video store shield, but I don't use the name. I'm the only one. <laughs> yeah. Buy their shit. Those yes. Like Buy our shit. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Buy our shit. Garth <laughs> bought it. He knows what's up. <clears throat> and Joseph's in the chat. <laughs> And then we Someone got some new from the video store. What's up, man? What's going on, gentlemen? I'm ready to break my movie games cherry. Oh, oh, man! <laughs> I'm so sorry that this I, is so I don't first, consent, I maybe, gonna... but. Well, can I say, it could have been last week. You can take it as a metaphor. You can take it as any way you want it. Um, I'm here to have a good time. My name's Steve Mesa, just in case you introduce all of the little people from the, the video store universe. Uh, I'm here to have fun and hope, man, maybe possibly win. You never know. We'll yeah. see. And we got the championship coming up in two weeks. We got one more game next week, and then the championship to face a man who cannot be beat. The snowflake who has come up with this game. Cam, are you ready? Traveled, I have traveled the land searching for the man who can kill me. Hopefully, he will be found. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. All right. Well, you guys got your boards ready? Spence has got the cat ready. You ready to find out what game you're playing? No. Well, too what bad. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, one of the classic movie games is uh they put that where the game where we give you a person and we give you a topic and you have to guess what's on their list uh if you get their number one you get three points if you get their two or their three you get two points if you get their four or their five you get one point anything else even if it's on the list is worth zero points now i thought wouldn't it be fun to take that concept <laughs> and use only lists from the ultimate list making crackhead jack pinchuk <laughs> No, no, oh no, I'm out. I am out. No, I hell no. This is some video store bullshit. Where, Where is it? Where is it? This is only this is only part of the game. It goes, it it will change and it won't be all Jack Pinjack theme. 
I am sorry to Steve, who probably has no idea who Jack is. Okay. Yeah. All right, ready to try to guess my way through this uh, paper bag. Just guess oh, the most chaotic is, answers, and you'll. Is the number get it. four Canadian showing up today? The number four Canadian <laughs> Jack will not be here. No. <laughs> Uh, but so with that being said, so Mike, don't share the list until it's time to reveal the answers because I don't have secondary graphics for this one. So yeah. your first list that I need you to guess is I need, uh, we're starting out simple, 2010 movies ranked. So what did Jack Pinchuk put as the best movie of the year 2010? Oh. It's as simple as that. It's going to get a lot worse as we go along. Uh, of course. Legitimately, the files in the Google Drive folder that I made for this for this part of the game are all uh, Crack Pinchuck 1 through 12. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the name we have given this this edition of the game. Uh, so we're looking for what Jack thinks is the best movie of 2010. You don't need to get number one, but you get points regardless if you're in the top five. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Garth, what do you think Jack thinks is the number one movie of 2010? I don't know if he can hear us. Garth, can you hear us? Garth. <laughs> Garth. Steve, what do you think Jack thinks is the number one movie of 2010? <laughs> uh, you know what? I was thinking of this one particular movie, but I'm going to go with another. I'm going to go with uh, Inception. Also, sorry, Steve, do you have a whiteboard with you? Oh, sorry, I don't. Yeah. No worries. Again. Yeah, it's your first oh, yeah, time no playing. Uh, I will let it slide. Uh, so that is all right. Uh, Cody, what do you got? Um, he's in the Kingsman, so I'm assuming the social network. Uh, Scott. I had the exact same logic as the social network. <laughs> Spence. <laughs> He's in the Kingsman, so I put How to Train Your Dragon. Oh. Uh, and Michael. <laughs> God. That was fucking uh, magic. Michael. <laughs> He's, a, He's, a, He's a child, so I said Toy Story 3. Uh, oh, Garth can't hear, so he going yeah, to be right back. Okay, uh, we're gonna, we'll wait for Garth to come back. I trust him to be honest with what he had. Uh, so, your list. I don't think he had the question. This is where you see the screen, Mike. <laughs> number five, Scott Pilgrim. Oh. Number three, four, Inception. Number three, Buried. Number two, True Grit. And number one, the How to Train the Dragon is at 10, and I would like to no longer be related to him. Uh, I pulled the social network and I erased it. You know what really moved me? Ryan Reynolds in a box. Oh, and Garth is back. Oh, oh Garth is back. Garth, Garth what do you have? I didn't. I didn't hear anything. That's why I had to leave and come back. My audio cut out, and I kept adjusting things. And did you, did see, you the see the list that was just on the screen? screen? I did not. No, I was gone. Garth, Garth, what do you think? Jack, Jack the best movie of twenty ten. Also, do you have headphones or do you like boys? Okay. Yeah, I'll get. I'll get my headset on. Kelly. 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 Okay. Hello. 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 Michael, what was your time to yell a spider man quote? <laughs> it wouldn't be an episode of movie games man, without some motor. difficulties. Back to full bash it. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't let me down, though. I knew he was part of the Kingsman, so I blood the social network. Jake! Yeah. We, I appreciate it. It's more logic of he's related to Holzman and should have How to Treat Your Dragon or he'd be dead. <laughs> yes! Yes! I just love Barry. Does this three? That's crazy. He loves that movie, and I don't know why. So, uh, okay, Garth. Like Garth. Uh, I think you're good to unmute. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, what yeah. do you think Jack thinks is the best movie of 2010? You can just say a movie. I'll let it slide. Uh... I don't know movie dates, so. <laughs> uh, what came out in 2010? Uh, I don't know. How to Train Your Dragon. I don't know. I'll just throw out. Uh, that is his number 10, unfortunately, so no points. We will go into your second list. Uh, I need you to tell me who Jack Pinchuk thinks is the greatest movie villain of all time. He made a list of the top 20 movie villains. I need the character, not the film. Ooh. Um, you know, oh, we got a question. 
for for those of us who don't know him well, it's this is a definite definite detriment. It is true. Yeah, that's why I feel very bad that this is Steve's first time playing movie games because. Uh, <laughs> Wait, or what do you what do you do with the one? When the game when the game got set up, I looked through the the room of people and I went, "Well, all right." I know yeah. at least four of these people. I checked and I was like, well, four of them follow them. I just really people. wish I would have paid attention to his list. He just sent me for movie villains. <laughs> <laughs> it's Toy Story and Western, guys. Well, we're I just gave him a thumbs up. Three, and three, two, I just one. Him uh, we'll start with Steve. I put down Hannibal Lecter. Uh, we'll go to Cody. Hans Londo. Uh, we will go to Scott. I said Darth Vader. Uh, we'll go to Michael. I said Thanos. Uh, we will go to Spence. It works for multiple movies, so I said the Joker. <laughs> I don't like you doing it that way. Uh, Darth. <laughs> I went with a different Hans. I went Hans Gruber. Uh, some points being earned. Your list, the top five. Uh, number five, so you can't put people yes! uh, Number five is specified if you look at the notes. Oh my gosh. Be either Hannibal Lecter or Buffalo Bill. Uh, <laughs> four, John Doe from Seven. Three, Amon Goth from Schindler's List. Two, Hans Landa. And one, Heath Ledger's Joker. Uh, I was I yeah. was legitimately thinking he would put the put Ray Fiennes from Schindler's List. I just forgot his it's name. It's almost like his nickname in fandom it's is The Joker. <laughs> I'm the Joker. The Joker worse than two Nazis. Like, he plays that first. often. Like, I pay attention to Fair. his nickname. Is uh, he? Yeah. Next list, the top ten directorial debuts. The oh, first geez. films made by people. What's the best one, according to Jack? The problem is I can only go off of his taste so much. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think Toy Story is Spence, a Western? Do you see why I specifically wanted you? Because you and Jack get into so many fights on Letterboxd. Oh, I, I can't. You're going to send him the fucking YouTube link for this, and we're going to get in a fight again. Oh, I'm not. You should. I'll do it. I have, oh, shoot. I have no clue on his taste. Holtzman, do you think Toy Story is a Western? Or think me, but worse. Toy Story is not a Western. Woody, Woody's Roundup is. Toy Story 2 is. No, Toy Story 2 is a masterpiece. Oh, yeah, he's already remembered. That, that's that Three, fact is all I know about two, Jack and Chuck. Is he's <laughs> one. Hands down. Which we we'll learned here on the videos. Cody. Sydney Lumet. I was oh. looking for the movies, but I'll take Love the director as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll I will take the director maybe, as well. Maybe that was his uh, first movie he directed. Scott. <laughs> that would have helped me a lot. I more also said 12 movie. Angry Men. Oh, Spence. He's a quarter Holtzman, so I put book smart. <laughs> I, don't oh. know Jack's that. I don't know if Jack's ever seen yeah. that movie. Uh, Michael. Fuck. Well, fuck. Uh, book smart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I was thinking book smart, but I thought not based on that last list, so I went with Reservoir Dogs. And Steve. I also went Reservoir Dogs. Your list. Everyone who gets points is getting two points. Uh, number five, American History X. Number four, Molly's Game. Three, Twelve Angry Men. Two, Reservoir Dogs. And one, The Shawshank Redemption. It's I barely know, his uh, movie. Move a promising young woman. Yeah. Chad Stahelski. <laughs> Coming in hot. So we go to your next list. The top ten movies with zero Oscar wins. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. Steve. Uh all right. This one could just make a list about everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cody, I will tell you, when I, when I set up to make this game, I initially had about 30 lists to choose from. How many does he have? A um, lot. A lot. Too <laughs> many. Okay. I just made my first list this past week. Uh, I got three. I got tired of making my own lists, so I went to the person who has an infinite supply. All right, let's try this. Do it myself. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. Uh, we'll start with Scott. I think is where we're starting this time. I honestly don't even remember if this won an Oscar or not, but I said Avengers Endgame. Oh man. Uh, Spence. I'm bringing it back. Twelve Angry Men. <laughs> Uh, Michael. I said Logan. 
Fuck! Oh my god. Garth. That didn't win any? Wow, I thought Logan won. I went with a Tom Lost Hanks it, movie that probably didn't win Oscars, Bachelor Party. <laughs> you are probably <laughs> correct that it didn't, uh, Steve. I went with uh, Shawshank Redemption. Uh, and Cody. I went with the Irishman because that's the only one I could think of that just goose egg. I'm surprised some of these uh, didn't win Oscars. Less- wow. I didn't You're even think of five, angry men, number four, Reservoir yeah. Dogs, three, Shock. Oh, 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 Michael, oh, Michael. Michael. Oh, now, before you pick oh, it, Cody, or, or Mike, does anyone want to tell me what's wrong with this list? Ooh. Shawshank won some, some, some of them. No, won. Did what did yeah. it win? No. Shawshank didn't know. win anything. It didn't win Shawshank anything, no. Really? Yes. Who wants to tell, for one point, what's wrong with this list? Uh, the Truman Show. The Green Mile won an Oscar. Green Mile. Eddie oh. Oscar. What's wrong is that this is the top ten movies with zero Oscar well, winners. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> There's only one. <laughs> oh, I, I see it. Nice. Like, are they yeah. are they yeah. nine movies that have not won an Oscar? So <laughs> Joseph, that was a good All right. one. Uh, I, think I just, just couldn't think of anything. Like, that won. Uh, seven. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm good. We go to the next prompt, which is hmm. best original song winners ranked. Wow. Uh, oh. I need the name of the song. You cannot just give me the name of the movie because there's some films that have more than one song nominated. And it's oh, possible you just write a non-answer. Wait, nominees or w- winners? Best original song winners ranked. Okay. This is only the films that won. But I need mm. the song, not the film. And after this uh, list, uh, Holtzman, let's do a score update for people. Absolutely. I think Steve's winning, which is the funniest part. <laughs> it, I will say it is only one point between. That, I mean, that, he has an advantage of not knowing. The current the score is like literally, <laughs> I will just be counting <laughs> from one number to another with he, no number. He has point. the advantage by having no logic whatsoever well, because none was yeah, put into the creation of this list. Basic. He has no logic no, whatsoever. I'm going to say this. Okay. I'm going to say this. Based on the first list, I'm going with just a typical geek four, picks. Three. No offense. Two, one, pens down. We'll start with Spence, I believe. I'm cheating. I put Glory from Glory. <laughs> Actually, never mind. Never mind. It's Glory, but it's from Selma. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was going to say, you almost specified yourself out of a point. Uh, <laughs> Michael. Um, I almost put It's Hard Out Here for a Pim, but I decided to go. If it's not Lose Yourself, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Garth. <laughs> I, I hope he's a fan of Butch, Dan- uh, uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I went with Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. But- it's probably right. that, but I, it's probably if I was a betting man, I would put money on the bet. <laughs> uh, Steve. I'm not 100% that this won an Oscar. I just have a feeling, so this is my guess. I put You Got a Friend in Me. Uh, and I did not win, actually. Cody. Yeah, well, I, I couldn't think of any. I was between two. I know he really likes. I saw this list at one point. I thought it was Skyfall, but I went with Lose Yourself. Oh. Uh, and Scott. I put into the West. Uh, that's oh, right. your list. Oh, that's oh, you're gonna be oh man! Number five. Oh, yeah. Skyfall. Oh, oh, you know, so. Into the West and number one Skyfall. Uh, oh, Skyfall. Philadelphia! I should have gone for Philadelphia. Yeah. I mean, it still wouldn't have been worth points. That was the Indians. I couldn't remember the title of. Them. So, with that being said, your score currently uh, bringing up the rear with two points. We have Garth. Uh, followed by a tie between Spence and Michael at five. Steve is at six. Scott is at seven. And Cody is in the lead with nine points. Dude. <laughs> As we get into your next list. He sends me every list. It's probably. I want you to listen very carefully to the name of this list. And remember that Jack Pinchuk is the one making it. Your, ne- your list is the 15 greatest movies of all time, objectively <laughs> speaking. <laughs> oh no! The fifteen greatest movies of all time, objectively speaking. Ooh, it's probably like the Jack See, number one, Scooby Doo: Two Monsters Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those things where I saw the name and I went, "Can we really be objective here?" <laughs> uh, he should probably change that to objectional. He probably only put me before you at 15 because it was <laughs> And then we'll let it at 14 just to be safe, you know? <laughs> uh, we're going to go five, four, three, two. Michael looks very comfortable. One. I know. Uh, I'm Garth, jealous. 
Uh, we'll start with Michael. Uh, it went for me last time, so I'll just go Logan. Yeah. Uh, uh, Garth. Uh, well, since you said his nickname was Joker, I went with the Joker. Uh, Steve. Uh, I put uh, the Godfather. Uh, that is number 11 on the list. Uh, <laughs> Cody. Ooh, missed, missed it by that much. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Scott. Yeah, I used the same logic as Joseph. I think I remember from a past episode that he gave five stars to Casablanca. <laughs> Not on the list at all, uh, Spence. What? <laughs> More than in front of the king. So yeah, this is objectively speaking. So you know, it's it would be world, weird. Jack. If Jack's favorite movie was at number one. Uh, your list. Uh, number five, The Shawshank Redemption. Number four, Number two. Number three, Twelve Angry Men. Two Schindler's List. And number one, Jack's favorite movie, Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. <laughs> oh, the Joker didn't even make the top. Objectively wow. speaking. Objectively, objectively speaking. speaking. <laughs> the Lost Weekend. Just the randomly. Lost Weekend. Objectively. <laughs> the Lost Weekend. Also <laughs> noted, all three of Lord of the Rings movies are in the top fifteen. Uh, <laughs> uh, your next one. The top five performances of 20, so we're saying 2020 slash 21, as in like the last year of eligible films for Oscars. Any films that were eligible to be nominated at the most recent Oscars. The top Sorry, five the performances of 2020 slash 2021 that didn't receive an Oscar nomination. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, shit. So do you want us to write like the movie or the act actress? Uh, please write both the person and the film because there's people who were in more than one movie and there's more than one person in movies for the most part. Do you want us to name the movie? I want the person and the film. Oh, what was not nominated? What's a big snow? Well, that's my thing. Wait, no, he doesn't get the kind of movie. Cody has a commanding lead after that one. Um. <laughs> Man, I bet Cody wishes that this was just the only game played today. <laughs> well, did you repeat the question? The top five performances of 2020 slash 2021 that didn't receive an Oscar nomination. God, what do you think? <laughs> okay, got it. We're going to see what we've got going in five, four, three, repeat. two, what? Cody, you want to repeat? I don't have to repeat. I'm just trying to write it all. I'll just, yeah, I'll just count again. Five. Okay, we're good. Four, three, I don't need two, any whistle. one. We'll start with Garth. Uh, I went with Andy Samberg and Palm Springs. Uh, we'll go to Steve. Uh, I went with Jared Leto and the Little Things. Uh, Cody. Franklin Jella in the trial of the Chicago 7. Scott. I said Bo Burnham in Promising Young Woman. Uh, Spence. That's probably right. I, I picked from Scott's favorite movie, Bo Burnham from Promising Young Woman. And Michael. <laughs> this is wrong. I just said Rob Patson from Tenet. I have no idea. Uh, one person is getting points. Your list. Number five, Ellen Burstyn, Piece of a Woman. Number four, Zendaya for Malcolm and Marie. Number three, the uh, Frank Langella for oh Charles. Oh, my God. Seven. Two, Mads Mikkelsen for another round. And number one, Malcolm Steve and Marie. Marie. Rarely, sometimes, always. <laughs> I, I respect four of those picks. picks. And the other one's probably Zendaya, right? <laughs> she's good, but she's nominated. I heard that movie's trash. So. It That's is. all I it's heard. Uh, your next one. Uh, movie musicals ranked. Oof. Oh and I'll say, let's just specifically call it live action slash mocap movie musicals ranked. And basically what he means by that is there are live action musicals and also 2019's The Lion King is somewhere on the list. That's not motion capture, what? <laughs> My favorite genre. You want to come well, again? Also, there's stuff like Cats and Beauty and the Beast making appearances as well. The main thing is, like, they are movies that generally would be considered live action and also 2019's The Lion King. But are they in the top five? Oh, yeah, Joseph in the chat making a very valid point. Pick the Sorkin movie. We've seen it worked earlier. <laughs> Let's pick who. Molly's the... game was the number four. Uh, I can't wait Mollis. for this list to give people an aneurysm. Five. Repeat four. the question. <laughs> no. Three, <laughs> two, one. You don't get to take my hints. Uh, Steve. I just put Singing in the Rain. Uh, you'd hope so, Cody. <laughs> I put La La Land. Idiot. Uh, it's number six, uh, Scott. Okay, fair. 
Uh, I also said La La Land. And Spence. I had to go save and put Mary Poppins. Uh, Michael. La La Land. Uh, and Garth. Yes. I also want La La Land. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Prepare to see saw a travesty. Number five, West Side Story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Number three, what? Moulin Rouge. Number two, Sweetie Todd. And number one, 2012's Les Mis. Oh my God! Spence just died at single. So has he only seen thirteen out. musicals? Of Hank Apparently, <laughs> no. At the time he did, he's probably watched a lot more, but he doesn't update this shit. He just keeps yeah. it flowing. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> They're like just, time capsules in his. Fun life. fact: I took musical theater in high school with Jack. We're very different people. Uh, <laughs> your next one: the top ten worst movie sequels of all time. Yeah, oh. Kelly, having 2012 Slate. <laughs> regardless of even having that number one, having all four of those movies above West Side Story, that's the true crime. Is there like a Chicago 2? 20, 2015 Cinderella above West Side Story <laughs> is a take. <laughs> I just hate the Lion King was high up there. It's above Cats. I don't think that's correct. And what else was it? I hate the Lion King was number a nine <laughs> above Cats. I don't know Chicago, if this was the woods and Gigi. So 2019's The Lion King was above two Best Picture winners. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. The pens down. We're well, starting with Steve, I think. All right. I so, I, so I put down a Son of the Mask. Uh, <laughs> Cody. I don't know if this would count, but I put Star Wars Attack of the Clones. It would absolutely count. Oh, uh, no. Scott. I mean, it, it, you would think based on the list, but it's probably going to be nowhere on it. Star Wars Attack. Uh, <laughs> Spence. I put Transformers the last night. It's number six. Uh, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> yeah, I said Attack of the Clones. Uh, and Garth. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Uh, not on the list. Uh, a lot of people getting three points, though. Uh, number five, Now You See Me 2. Yeah. Number four, Five and Three, <laughs> Oscar Side, Three, Spider Man 3, Two, Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh my god, The Last Jedi is on there. Uh, Last Jedi is on there. Last Jedi is on there. The things that just this is just him up. That Fast and Furious is a bad movie. Stop you realize the masterpiece they had with the first Ninja Turtles and then out of the shadows came. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined it all! Your next list. <laughs> You've got, I think, three more, and then it's on to part two. Uh, the top 15 movies that made me cry, according to Jack Pinchuk. Oh, oh fuck no. I, will, I promise you part two is not Jack Pinchuk based. Thank God. Well, no, I'm yeah, winning. thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm walking out of this. At this point, Cody probably point. hopes that it is because he's winning. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm walking what's, out of this round with my two points. What's the chance Les Mis is on this list again? <laughs> Uh, how many movies are there? Fifteen. Just like ever in general, how many movies are there? Stars. I'd say one in that number. <laughs> At least seven. <laughs> or I technically five in that number because, or fifteen in that number because it's the top fifteen list. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're gonna go to Cody. Schindler's List. Uh, Scott. It's been on multiple lists. I'm gonna be really bothered if he didn't cry at Schindler's. Nope, straight. Ben. It's been on multiple lists. I put Logan. Mm. Uh, Michael. That's a good one. I keep, I keep forgetting Schindler's list exists, so I just put Logan. Yeah. <laughs> it's Jack. Just Michael, put Logan. You're, you're, awesome this. you're gonna be yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, uh, Garth. <laughs> I, I should have gone with Logan. I went with About Time. Great pick, oh, but I don't think Jack has seen it. And Steve. I went with Lemiz. Les Miz. Les Miz. Does not appear on the list. Uh, <laughs> Michael, you're gonna be forgot that this list exists. Number five, Million Dollar Baby. Four, oh, three, three, three Logan. Two, Portrait of Lady on yeah. Fire. Number one, The Green Mile. Hey, well, give me a Green uh, Mile. I was going to say, he might have earned a modicum of respect from Cody for this. Plane strength in automobiles? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. He's really sad that he sticks his hand up his ass, you know, just real shit. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, laughing and falling. I mean, it doesn't say that it's sad crying. It could be crying laughing. Uh, sure. Or an ultimate list. I need just the film. 
the top 20 closing shots in cinematic history. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fucking hell. All right. I'm going to guess he hasn't seen the Searchers. <laughs> I'm gonna guess he hasn't seen the taking of Pella one, two, three. I'm gonna I'm gonna which, literally take out one? all the good movies and just put one of them up there. <laughs> Cody, you go with the strategy, let's see if it pays off. I think I can fully predict what Cody has. Is really. Mario leaving? No, him I don't think I Four. I just took a three, shot because I can't picture him into the movie. Two. I turn the ball. One pins down. We'll go to Scott. I said the dark knight. Uh oh, that's a good Spence. Shot. Logan. <laughs> Michael. Uh, I said the Godfather. You, you said what? Uh, the the Godfather. Godfather. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, nope. <laughs> <Not cars. laughs> I, I finally learned to just write Logan. Uh, Steve. I also learned how to write Logan. Uh, Cody. <laughs> I went off the wall. I put the Breakfast Club. Uh, not oh, oh, oh. People who learn to write Logan, you're getting one point. You're listening to five Logan. In this list. Three Portrait of a Lady on Fire, what? two Inception, and number one, Planet of the Apes, the original. Still, oh, that makes sense. Jack, go to therapy. Close also, it. Les Mis rearing its ugly What is the last <laughs> shot of Les <Lame> Mis? <laughs> Yeah, bad education. It's one day more where it's just like a really yeah, bad education. Bad education. <laughs> it just, it just had a bad education. Bad and education I don't know what that could be. Right past it. Oh yeah, it's when he goes out we on stage. Yeah, update like, that when he goes to like, What the hell are we doing? Uh, if you couldn't tell, Jack loves Hugh Jackman. Uh, yeah. Your final list for this. <laughs> we did twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty one, but now I need you to tell me what Jack thinks. Are the biggest or uh, the top twenty Oscar snubs of all time, <laughs> and I will say this is only in acting categories. So we name the movie and the actor. Name the movie and the actor, please. I've had this. Uh, he's told me this before. Sorry. Yes, and this list is the. I think this might. It's between this and his musicals list for which one is like the most crackhead list. I'm getting at least two points. I'm gonna bet money on that. All right, I got it. I think I know exactly what's going to throw it down. And this could be either like win or nomination. Uh, it's, sorry, this is only not not nominated. This is not only nominated. That we're not nominated. <laughs> it's the entire film, Bad Education, because it was an HBO movie, so it wasn't even eligible. <laughs> it. I mean, theoretically, it could be. <laughs> I want to pull up this list. So it, acting, I, can, I only right? have the top five because I need to like extend it to notes. I want to find this list on my phone so that I can uh, remember what the absolute insanity that is the other 15 is on this list. Well, this might be my last time on movie games. <laughs> There's yeah. still time. Oh, no. beating no, most no. of us. Uh, so we're going to go five, four, three, two, one pens down. Uh, we are going to go to Spence first. Adam Sandler and Uncut Gems. Michael. Hugh Jackman for Logan. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smart guess, uh, Garth. Yeah. And I went another way. I, I figured Logan, but I went with Patrick Stewart. Uh, Steve. Hugh Jackman for Logan. <laughs> Cody, did you learn to write Logan? Adam Sandler, Uncut Gems. And Scott. I said Jake Gyllenhaal and Nightcrawler. You're getting... Ah, I gave your points to the wrong person, Scott. Uh, yeah, right. We can fix that. Don't worry. You uh, you're points. Your list number one, Adam Sandler. Two, Kevin Spacey. Seven, three, Ryan Jake Ryan? Gyllenhaal and Nightcrawler. Four, Jake from my room. And number five, Ryan Reynolds and Barry. Uh, other movies, on uh, other performances on the list that did not make this image include Viggo Mortensen, Return of the King, Hugh Jackman and Logan, uh, Sean Bean in Fellowship of the Ring, uh, uh, George McKay in 1917, Toby Kebbell in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, <laughs> there's um, choices. The world he lives in. That's why I always have to make sure he puts like the 9.6 or 9.3 on his letterbox reviews because I have to know where it ranks. So going into the second half of the game, uh, the score is currently uh, Garth with three, 
Steve with seven, Michael with 10, uh, Scott with 13, Spence with 14, and Cody with 21. Ooh. Wow. So Sorry to wild ass topics that he sends me all the time. Uh, part two, uh, I took – so there's a review that I consider to be the greatest review in the history of Letterboxd. Uh, and that is this review right here. Mike put up the image. Okay. It's the classic uh, Joker review. This happened to my buddy Joker. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> and so I went down a rabbit hole of looking at this guy's letterbox. The guy who wrote it. He's got a pretty good letterbox. It's pretty fun. Whoa. So we're going to play what that review there with this guy's <laughs> reviews. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Mike, you can pull the image down for now. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of things that are slightly vague. So for every review, uh, you can either shoot for two on just the review and the rating, or if you would like, you can go for one point, and I will give you the year of release of the film. So you can get more information about what the movie is. But in order to do so, you are going to have to sacrifice your ability to gain points. So. Uh, Right. Can I can I have the option of sacrificing myself? Uh, <laughs> you may, but you do immediately lose more than just points. Uh, <laughs> I, lose, I lose my dignity. So and your I, first I, review for what that review me. there is going to be, uh, Mike, please put up the image. Uh, yes. I have edited pictures. Uh, watch June 2nd, 2021. This happened to my buddy Erica. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Well, this did actually happen to my buddy Aaron, which none of you have asked about or seem to care about. A letter every once in a while asking how she is would go a long way. I'm going to make the same joke in my review. I never got to. What film is this a review for? So, oh, wait. <laughs> this happened Christ. to my buddy Erica. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Well, this did actually happen to my buddy Aaron, which none of you have asked about or seem to care about. A letter every once in a while asking how she is would go a long way. 161 no. likes. 161. Now, wouldn't, it be, yeah. wouldn't it be funny if uh, we followed her, uh, this one? You know? So what? what is our options here? We're supposed to even so, get So you can time. either write down the movie. So you, so you want to try and write down what you think this is a review for. You can either lock in for two points, or you mm -hmm. can ask for the release year, and We're, then it's only worth one point. Release year. So yeah, here, we'll... Uh, Mike, if you want to pull the screen down for a moment. Yeah. Uh, so, who would like to lock for two points? Everybody but Steve is locking for two. All right, Steve, your year of release is 2021. Jesus fucking Christ. That's at least what I thought. Okay, we got a shot. Fuck. Damn it. Okay, I'm wrong. All right, so, no offense, guys. I appreciate the invite, but I think after this, literally, question, no offense. You guys are all swell guys, but I'm going to bounce. No offense, it's just. I this is, did what, not this know. is what Jack Pinchop does to a man. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just did not know what I was getting into, and this might be my last time on the show. No offense, you guys are swell guys. No, that's fair. Oh no, no, that's this is definitely. Man. Unfortunately, this is a lot of inside baseball with. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh well. All right. So, so let me just lock in my answer and let me know, and then I'm gonna dip out of here. Appreciate right, you guys having me on the show you. and. Start with Steve then. Uh, tomorrow, we'll. Uh, fuck yeah. uh, we will go to Cody. I brought the Conjuring Three. The Devil made me do it. Uh, Scott. Cruella. Spence. Oh. <laughs> Cruella. <laughs> Michael. Yeah, I said beds, beds, pray. And Garth. I went with Promising Young Woman. Uh, That's what I thought originally. Folks, that is a review for. 2021's Cruella. Cause oh, because it's because it's, it's fe female sure. joker. Uh, <laughs> All right, appreciate you guys. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Take it me. easy, Steve. Take it yeah. Easy. Uh, good luck with Steve, everybody. Steve. Game and uh, good luck with the points. Bye. Bye. Can I get his points? Can I get his? Yeah. Like, well, no, 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 no. I should. I'm just glad they have doing already been deleted from the scoreboard. I don't remember how many he had. Uh, <laughs> he had seven. Your next review coming up Here right go. now. Three and a half stars. Watch November 17th, 2020. This movie is like Groundhog Day 1993 meets Groundhog Day 1993. What is this a review of? It's got 91 likes. You can see that this user has Letterbox Pro. 
which I purchased on Black Friday because it was a lot cheaper because they actually do Black Friday deals for Letterbox Pro. So I will say this is the first time at the video store that we lost somebody, not because of internet connection, but because it says just this. Just oh, yeah, no. I'm like, no, I'm out. I'm I was out. like, oh, God. Uh, but all right, we're going to go five, <laughs> four, three, two, wow. one. Uh, ain't never coming who, back. Uh, who would like the year? Is everyone going to lock for two, or does someone oh. want the year? Cody Who looks like he wants the year. Is everyone else locking for two? Yes. yes. Yep. All right, hell? Cody, your year is 1993. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, I messed up. I'll try to go point on we'll start we'll start with uh, with Garth. Oh no, I want Palm Springs, damn it. Cody. Look. Groundhog Day. Scott. Doesn't even make sense because like it's two people meeting, you would think Palm Springs. Like uh, I had Palm Springs. I'm glad I asked for the year. <laughs> and Michael. <laughs> Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day. Unreal. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I was like, I know if someone asks for the year of release, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Cody, for doing uh, it. Uh, uh, so your next uh, review. Watched October 15th, 2020. Five stars. Damn, I wish I had a bro I was as close with as these two best buds. I really hope this surfs up. <laughs> Damn, I wish I had a bro I was as close with as these two best buds. Five stars. You'd think it's probably a good movie. But I need the I kinda wanna get I kinda wanna write Logan again. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, it's Jack Pinchuk. I learned you with a false sense of security. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, who would like the year? Cody, Cody would like the year. Cody's oh, Scott. and and Scott I would, would. Like yeah. Scott. Yes. Uh, Garth Spence and Michael, you're all shooting for two. Yes. yes. Yep. All right. I uh, have your to. Year I'm, is, I'm at three points. Uh, your year is 2005. Yes. <laughs> oh well. Damn it. Your year is 2005. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh. Damn, I wish uh, I had a bro okay. as close as these yeah, two yeah, best yeah, buds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2005. Yeah. Okay, Five. Way, I thought it four. Was... Three. Two. One. Uh, we'll start with Cody. Brokeback Mountain. Uh, Scott. Oh. Looking like a couple of besties. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> uh, Spence. <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. Michael. I said Brooks Fox. Uh, and Garth. Like, like the gentleman who left, I wish I could quit this. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could quit uh, you. Your film <laughs> is broke back Mountain. <laughs> so we go to the next review. Watch June 1st, 2020. A thralling epic of Adam Sandler on his quest to avoid a vasectomy. <laughs> Wait, what? What? A thralling epic. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna wimp out and go for a year on this because I'm a lot for Adam two. Sandler on a quest to avoid a vasectomy. It's not that confusing, Spence. Oh. Uh, also, sorry to give the rating because the rating got cut off on this one. Uh, this movie was given three stars. I'm a lot for two. Spence is gonna lock for two. Uh, who would like the year? I would. I would. I would. Everyone but Spence going for the year. Your year is 2019. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I almost put Jack in jail. I was so <laughs> This is where I show I'm bad with release dates. I will say I was at least somewhat nice with part of this game. There is a series of four reviews that this guy wrote that are almost verbatim exactly the same 
and he wrote them all in the same day. <laughs> I went, I putting all four back to back, but decided against it. Five. What are the films? Can we ask that? Three, two, one. Uh, we'll start with uh, Scott. Maybe I played myself here, but and overthought it. I said murder mystery. Uh, Spence. He, he doesn't want to cut his gems. Uh, Michael. I that said was... uncut gems. Yeah. Garth. Uncut gems. And Cody. I played myself. You played yourself. It is uncut. <laughs> <laughs> Only three stars. Your next wow. review. Five stars, January 19th, 2021. <laughs> this happened to me and my buddy Eric. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice a pattern with some of these. What? Okay. This happened to I me. Wanna, I want to know his buddy here. That's too hard. Does anyone want to shoot for two, or do you want, or does everyone just want to go for right now? I need the year. Uh, uh, fuck it. I'll shoot for two. Ooh, Michael's shooting for two with a classic Mike Hanley fuck it. Uh, <laughs> fucking A. Uh, anyone else want to shoot for two, or is everyone going for the year? Year, I'll year. go for year. All right, your year is two thousand and three. Almost, almost. What? Two thousand three. This happened to him and his buddy Eric. Stop <laughs> 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 Just think about what could happen to a guy and his buddy Eric. You can write that movie down. <laughs> I can't think of a single really not that confusing. Two thousand three. <laughs> There's a reason I added I the years mechanic in because I figured it would be nigh impossible to even try and guess it. It's five, four, three, two, one. We'll start with Michael for two points. I said the Dark Knight. Uh, we'll go to Garth. Nope, no guess. Uh, Cody. Thank you, Tim, if this is right, but Freaky Friday? Scott. Oh. I couldn't even think of a single 2003 movie, but that might be it. And Spence. I put Return of the King. Uh, Cody, that happened to him and his buddy wow. Eric. Oh, 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 man. Cody he with just the brought bowl. up 2003's Cody. Freaky Friday. Cody knows the things. Cody apparently, Cody, do you know Eric? I don't <laughs> yeah. know Eric personally. <laughs> Your next review, watched May 19th, 2020, five stars. Gave me a whole new respect for Hitler. <laughs> I'm going to lock on this Oh, one. wow. I'm going to okay. lock in. Lock for Scott. Lock for Cody. It's probably wrong. <laughs> I'm going to lock for two I as will, well. I will, I will also lock. Ben's locking. Michael locking. Garth, do you want to lock and make it a full five? Uh, I'll lock and just make make a joke, sort of. <laughs> Sounds okay. good. Uh, we will start with Scott on this one. Jojo Rabbit. Spence. Jojo Rabbit. Michael. Jojo Rabbit. Garth. Uh, I thought it might be a joke. Jojo Rabbit. <laughs> Cody. Jojo Rabbit. We've got a clean sweep, Jojo Rabbit. Wow! Yeah, I feel like it being any other movie would make me not include it in this game. Uh, your next one, three stars. Watched October 29th, 2020. Wow, I never suspected that big twist where the kid grew up to be mediocre. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> for two. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off preemptively oh, about this one. So, Scott, I assume you're locking for two. Yeah, I am. Spence locking for two. I'm locking it. Cody locking for two. I think based more on oh, something God, else. Was great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Michael and Garth, are you guys gonna lock for two or do you want the year? I'm locked. I'm locked. Uh, I, don't ca I don't care if I gave it away. I can't Michael hide my rage. Will take the year. Michael, your year is twenty uh, Scott, why don't you tell Michael the year? <laughs> uh it would be the, the year two thousand and fourteen. That would be correct. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh, sure, <laughs> I was thinking honey. I kind of just so. don't want to guess it right as a protest, but uh, okay. well, we're that's gonna, well, if that's the case, we're gonna start with Scott. <laughs> uh, it's Boyhood. Spence. Oh, Boyhood is a five-star movie. Michael. 
Yeah, I'm assuming you cut the other two stars off that rating. So I did not. That is legitimately a three star <laughs> review. Darn. <laughs> no, I, I thought since it said twist, I went with the six cents. And Cody. Boy, boring as shit, boyhood. I agree with Cody. And so does it. Closer Look Media. That is boyhood. Wait, 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 better focus. Oh, well. We get into the next review. Uh, Watched May 18th, 2023 stars. Though I was initially confused at the start of the film due to not brushing up on the lore, blank, that's just the name of the film, proves to be a worthy sequel and successor to Stuart Little. No, that doesn't work. Shit. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> blank proves to be a worthy sequel and successor to Stuart Little. It wouldn't be Tale of Despero. There's only so many movies that could have that <laughs> sort of title. Oh, shit. I need the year. Does anyone want yep. to lock for two, or is everyone going to take the year? I'm, I'm going to lock for year. two, because I'm going for jokes now. All right. I'm, I'm going to lock for two as well, just to try it out. Spence going to lock for two. Anyone else, or do you want the year? I'll just give the year. All right. Your year is 2017. Fuck. I'm going to fact check myself on that. I might be wrong about this. Yeah, 2017. We're good. We're fine. Twenty seventeen. I was initially confused at the start of the film. Did a number on the floor. The film proves to be a way to little. I'm new to Letterboxd, but it, it really hurts that it's people I don't even follow. Three, two. One pens down. We'll start with Garth. I went with Ratatouille. Uh, Spence. It could still work if it was Pure Flix's Little Women. <laughs> uh, Cody. I didn't have anything. Uh, Scott. Yeah, nothing. Also, Pure Flix's Little Women is a 2018 film. Uh, Michael. <laughs> I didn't have anything. Uh, come on, guys. It's not that hard. It's clearly a review of Lady Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get points for Speaking of Speaking of Lady Bird, your next review. Not only is Blank the ideal match for Lady Bird in order to create an unstoppable force of justice, but they would make a really great couple. Five stars watched me. Oh, okay. I'm locked in. Okay. Garth locked in for two. What am I missing? What I need the year. Anyone else want to lock for two, or do we want to be here? Uh, fuck it. Oh, yeah. And I think I I'm heard, right on this one. Michael, are you locking? or? Yeah, I'll lock for two. Michael, will lock for two. Spence and Scott, you both want the year? Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> All right, your year is 2014. Well, I'm wrong. Well, somebody just put some ball in the chat and gave it to me. So. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, with, with the answer to the chat. It's, it's really bad. He, golly, it's that. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> to, quote, to quote Nicolas Cage in National Treasure, could it really be that easy? <laughs> so that's why I, I locked in with like as soon, before you even finished reading it. Five, I wish I saw that four, before I three, <laughs> two, one. Garth. I didn't write the full title, but it's Birdman. Cody. Birdman. Scott. Or bird person. Is that person? Birdman. Uh, Spence. The worst part is that I was literally like, wait, okay. Is it like bird, man, man, bird? I couldn't call it. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael. Uh, I said Lady Hawk. So. Not a bad guess. <laughs> oh, but, uh, Birdman oh. is the correct answer. Uh, a clue Ooh. there is that if you look at this, uh, that's a really long sensor bar, so the title can't be a short one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Took that's a lot right. of effort. Your next that's why, I, before you even finished reading it, I had it. Uh, half a star watched August 19th, 2020. This absolutely <laughs> did not in any way whatsoever happen to my buddy Eric. Uh, also, I'll give a score half. recap at this point. Yes. Uh, Garth is at eight. Michael is at 16, Scott is at 21, Spence is at 27, and Cody is at 30. What? 30. Is it 27? What's, what's Steve at? 
Uh, Eve is at home. <laughs> I uh, I should have bailed with Steve. <laughs> uh, I'll walk. I'll walk for two. I need the year. You had a champ for sticking it out, girl. Uh, <laughs> uh, is anyone going to lock for two, or do you all want the year? I'll, I'll lock for two. I'll lock for two. Michael yeah, will uh, lock for two. Year. Everyone else will take the year. Uh, okay, yeah. 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 Your year is 1999. Okay. Fine. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Now I know what it is. I don't know. Oh, damn it. Just think of things that could happen, but not to a guy named Eric, and then you'll know what the movie is. Is it, is it a movie that does not star Eric Bana? Uh, that's neither for me to confirm nor deny. <laughs> the years. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll start with Michael for two points. So I have birds of prey. But I uh, we will go to Garth. Nope, I, it didn't help me. Uh, Cody. The Blair Witch Project? Scott. That might be it. I said American Beauty. Spence. It's got to be Fight Club. Cody, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the Blair Witch Project. Cody follows this guy, definitely. <laughs> I, okay, I guess you're on the year. It was 99, and I guess something that happened. And he gave it a freaking half star. I hate this guy. I'm I sorry. thought he did a way better review with that. I think that's worse than a half star. It's like a five star. He's garbage. We wow. go to the next review. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd give it a half star, too. Four stars watched May 17th, 2021. This was my wife's favorite movie before she disappeared. She would watch it every night and cheer at all of Amy's wacky endeavors Locked. and say she's her spirit animal. How quirky. Lock. Lock. Spence locks for two. Uh, Michael no. locks for two. I'm so fucking mad for you. I'm so mad. I love this review so much. I need the year. Cody needs the year. Uh, Scott? I'm locked. And Garth? I'll, yeah, I'll lock. All right, Cody, the year is 2014. This was uh, my wife's favorite movie before she disappeared. She would watch it every night and cheer at all of Amy's wacky endeavors and say she's her spirit animal. How quirky. <laughs> I, hate I don't know I don't know movie release dates well, but I know them well enough, so when I hear the year, I'm like, nope. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Cody. We're going to girl. Scott. Oh. Gone girl. Spence. His wife was gone, girl. Michael. Uh, go on, go. And Garth. Oh, well, I hope they're all right. I think God, girl. That oh, is thank correct. you so Garth, much. Did you call you a cauliflower for following? <laughs> thank you for the follow. That is that is God, girl. I think that's such a great review. Uh, a lot wow, of fun. So I get two points. Jeez. Wow. Uh, yeah. We've got four or five more of these, I believe. Oh, okay. Your next one is. Watched May 19th, 2020, two and a half stars. This movie is trying way too hard to be a Quentin Tarantino film. Sorry, every movie ever made. <laughs> mm, I think I need the year. Would anyone like to lock for two points? No. I would like the year. I might, I just need more time. Well, how, how, I'm gonna go follow this person. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, everyone wants the year. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'm I'll lock. I need. Darth points. will lock. Your year as well. is 1994. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Five. Oh well. Damn it. Can I change my answer now that I'm way too hard to be a Quentin Tarantino film. Now, now, I, now I think I get the joke. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't get the joke. Um. Cody's gonna pull it anyway, though. Cody can pull it off of 1999. <laughs> this did not in any way happen to me, buddy Eric. 
<laughs> well, I I believe a half star is the Blair Witch Project, so that's what I'm saying. Five, um, four, three, two, one. We'll go to Garth. I went with uh, Once Upon a Time in California. Uh, Cody. I have nothing. Uh, Scott. Pulp Fiction. Which, which is still wrong because it's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. What did you put, Spence? Yeah, proof. Uh, and Michael. Pulp Fiction. Did you learn nothing from Groundhog Day 1993? And then I saw two and a half stars, and I was like, that can't be fucking yeah. right. So <laughs> Again, this man is an idiot. Uh, <laughs> as soon as I heard the year, I knew, I got the joke. I was like, all right. Based on this man's rating system, 2003's Freaky Friday, twice as good as Pulp Fiction. And he's not wrong. Your next list or review is one star, April 28, 2020. This story feels like it was written by somebody who should be spending his time making history videos online instead. <laughs> Can you pick up on the joke here? This I will story work. feels like it was written by somebody who should be spending his time making history videos online instead. Oh, for two. I have. Yeah, I'll look for two. I want the year. Okay, so sorry. Scott's locking for two. Michael's locking for two. Spence, yeah, Cody, I'm, and Scott all go. When we for, ask for the I'm year, when we get it, Spence still is one point, right? I'll, what? I'll take. I'll take. So yeah, it's two points if you don't ask for the year. It's one point if you do ask for the year. Okay. I'm on the right track. I think I just need the year. So Scott and Cody both want the year. I'll t I'll, yes. I'll. I do two. I'll take the year. Uh, we will. Go, uh, your year is 2014. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. It was only a coin flip of the two. And Michael, I don't. You happen to know this person? With that name? Um, Michael. It, that's Paul. It's Laird and Lucky. That's gonna be Paul. Oh. Five. Did you did you say cauliflower? Two. One pens down. Uh, we will start with Scott for one point. Is it the fault in our stars? Uh, Cody. I got them. Spence. The fault in our stars. Michael. Oh. I said in glory spots. It's because he doesn't have <laughs> black tie. And, and Garth. No, I had no clue. I went with Lincoln. We got a close the answer game. Is... Oh, that is the fault in our stars. Yeah. Written by uh, Crash oh, Course History host green John guys? Green. Uh, <laughs> oh, Thank you so much for that, for that one gifted sub. Uh, Jake got so it. There, are, hey, there are three left. There are three rounds of this left. Going into the final three prompts, the score is Garth with 10, Michael with 19, Scott with 25, Spence with 31, Cody with 32. <laughs> uh, can we just throw close. the game, please? As we go to your next one. <sighs> Four stars watched January 11th, 2021. A solid and heartfelt sequel to the 2011 smash hit Bad Teacher starring Cameron Diaz, though it doesn't quite hit the high notes of its superior predecessor. Lock for two. Take a year. I'll tie it. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll be. Well Even if I get all, all these Scott, you're last ones, yep. I'll, I'll be in last place, but... Garth locking. Michael, you want to lock? Yeah. You got this, Garth. Uh, I, I need the year. All right. Your year. I'll never I'll never quit, Mike. <laughs> Your year, if I am not mistaken, is 2020. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's some crossover between Jack and Chuck and this guy. Shut the fuck up, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> five, four, three, two. Uh, give me five seconds. Two, one. I'll let him finish writing. Yeah, it's fine. He, he can't win anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> true. True, but I'll give him my pick. It, it is a two-horse race at this point, and we know who the two horses are. Uh, Cody. Yeah. Bad education? Uh, Scott. Bad education. Uh, oh. Michael. 
bad education. Garth. Uh, no, this horse broke his leg and is being hauled off the course. Uh, book smart. And Spence. I only remember the name because I'm Jack Finchuck. Bad education. <laughs> That's bad education. We go to the final two prompts with a tie game. Your next review. This Wait, movie wasn't size? scary because Sorry. I know how to solve Rubik's Cubes. Half a star, May 21st. All right. Lock. Joseph, where are you? Garth locking. Locked. Who else is locked? Me. Spence. We, we do this like two or three nights out. Just like if you're locking, go like, to keep your hand up or vice versa. I mean, I guess I'll lock, yeah. I guess I gotta lock too. Scott will lock. Oh, Cody will I, lock. I need the, yeah. I'm going to double check this one. Your year is 2012. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Yes! <laughs> no, Cody. No. But I'm gonna Cody, wait. it's okay. Well, based on what the next one is, I think... I think you were going to win this anyways, based on what the final prompt is. I, I just erased it just so we can have a tie game go to the last one. But I'm going to – can I guess first? Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, all right. Okay. Cody for no points. Is it the cabin in the woods? Scott. Matt actually down here. Uh, Cube. Spence. Cube. Michael. Um, cube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. I'm old, so I went a little more old school. I went with Hellraiser. Uh, the answer is the cabin in the woods. God damn, Cody! <laughs> Shit. The 2011 so challenge. Cody <laughs> potentially throwing away the win, going into the last prompt. Oh man! Which is three stars. Watch the <laughs> This happened to my buddy <laughs> Do you have tiebreakers, Cam? Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest with you. I don't want to return to Champs Week, so Spence can have my spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm just waiting and screaming into Champs Week. Wait, wait. Oh, give the God. belt to Steve. I was oh, gonna say, yeah, give your spot to Steve. <laughs> I need the year. Give me the year as well. I lock. Anyone locking? Because yeah, I gotta me. manage a fandom match in like five minutes. So is anyone gonna lock? Me, me. Uh, no. Michael's gonna lock. Oh, yeah. oh I'm uh, locked. Actually, yeah, I'll switch it. I'll switch it. Oh. I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna lock for two. Oh. Oh no, no. Garth, Cody. you're gonna lock. Cody. Oh, I'm locked. Yeah. So Cody, so Spence and Scott both want the year. Your year, according to Letterboxd, is that's wrong. Nineteen ninety-eight. Well, shit. Okay. Well, all right. Damn. Did you write a year? Did you write a nineteen ninety-eight movie? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> just like, I'm just yeah. saying. I'm, joking. I'm just gonna write what I think it might be now for no points. Yeah. <laughs> uh well. I can't even think of anything that came out in 98. <laughs> At least I got to double digits. I got to take hey guys, after this question, like, I'm going to dip out. Like, you guys are great and all. I had a lot of fun. Cody, you're all your points right? <laughs> this just wasn't what he was expecting. This is uh, not what I had. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> this guy with poster right. finding my right. I'm, I'm on fucking video. Twitch, not YouTube. Cody. What the hell? <laughs> I put the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Spence Saving Private Ryan Garth I went with Joker as well Scott I also put Saving Private Ryan Michael uh, Is it American History X? It's not, it's uh, it's it's okay. the Truman Show <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do a very quick tiebreaker uh, Oh yeah, Mike, definitely Take, take it off screen Yes it's very simple. What you are trying to do is get as close as you can to the number of likes on the This Happened Ooh. to My Buddy Eric Joker review. Whoever is closest wins. 
And Cody, oh, if you win and you don't want to show up, you can pick someone to pick your place. <laughs> Say that again? Cody, if you I'll, win and you don't want to show up for the champs week, you can pick somebody to take your place. Cody, if you want to lose, lose, just put zero. The number of <laughs> hey, Cody's going for it now. Review. This happened to my buddy, Eric. <laughs> oh, my God. Cody, now, back on board. Right now. It's just going to win. <laughs> Now, if I'm yeah. right, I think you said this at the very beginning of the show. No, he did show it. That's why I am concerned. I showed this yeah, you. Did. you showed oh, it. God. I go. think Cody knows it. We're going to go to Spence. 14,289. Whoa. Cody, show me this zero you wrote on your board, I assume, so you can get out of here. Uh, 4,000. Your winner. Closest to 13,000. <laughs> Spence did it. Uh, oh, wait, Cody, on. you need to go oh. leave right now to manage yes. the match. I just felt really bo- Spence, <laughs> how does it feel? <laughs> oh, I am terrified. I don't know how I got that, but I did. Because Cody threw the game. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> don't take this away from me. I'm just really and disappointed so because I was going to either send Scott or Steve or Michael to the champ <laughs> week, and it just didn't happen. Now, now here's the funny thing we're going to find out is that Steve is that account. Yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. has, like, yeah, decency. Please. I want to play this Steve is the real uh, video store show. Yeah. How do you feel about your hollow victory, Spence? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 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 Now what I'm hearing is that no one wants me to win, that I should just go ahead and just it's lose it. I want you to win. It's that code <laughs> through the game, and that's why you won. In my reality, the only one that matters, uh, I won a knuckle and drag out fight. Uh, I'm gonna go follow this dude, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get my first board child after him. I'll call him Eric. Uh, <laughs> he's not Eric. Day. His buddy is named Eric Spence. His buddy is cooler. Okay. Did not understand the assignment. Yeah, name him. My buddy's name is Eric. <laughs> so what's what's the name of the thingy, uh, Holtzman? What's it? What's his account name? Uh, Closer Look Media. Okay, I'm gonna follow him and. <laughs> so Spence. Uh, in two weeks, we do Chance Week. We got one more game coming up next week to determine the last competitor to go to Chance Week. Cam, thank you for writing the match. Are you fucking ready? Yes, to thank you, Cam. Spence and the rest of us. Appreciate it. Thank you, oh, I'm ready to meet Spence. Uh, the other two, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, Garth, Michael, Cody, thank you guys for fucking showing up. This has been awesome. Yeah. Steve, Steve, my Five dude, minutes. the fucking MVP of this, man. Steve, <laughs> MVP. <laughs> And um, yeah, uh, Drew, thank you for the gifted sub to Jake. Jake, you get the VHS tapes now to use. Kelly, the, Joseph, uh, Paul, if that's you, thank you for joining in on the chat, man. You guys are awesome. Next week, we got movie games, follow Multiplex Entertainment. They Tuesdays and Wednesdays. They're going live on Twitch now. Everyone else, thank you guys for showing up. We will see you next time.